It's Friday, and that means I'm gonna watch a movie. Movie time! This week I'll be checking out the 1999 documentary film Beefcake. Let's get into it. Follow the yellow brick road. I covered this movie in my Sunday video last week um, using snippets from trailers uh, and behind the scenes but I didn't really check out the movie until now and uh, to my surprise one of the standout comments on this video I just had to share with you um, it's just beyond ridiculous Ed Von Deuce 7253 stated I am very disappointed that you used my floral designer's rather famous and distinctive face photoshopped onto somebody else's body as clickbait for this episode I expected better from you. I don't know your floral designer friend. And trust me, it's the actual poster for the movie. You can Google it. Maybe your supposed famous floral designer friend posed for that poster back in the 90s. Or he photoshopped this poster onto his face. In your face! Let's get back to the movie. This film, inspired by a true story, contains peripheral characters as well as events and dialogue which are fictionalized. I'll probably I will like pluck this in. Characters should not be confused with any real person, including any person. This film, inspired by a true story, contains peripheral characters as well as events and dialogue which have been fictionalized for dramatic purposes. Those characters should not be confused with any real persons, including any persons whose photographs appear in this film. So is it a film or documentary? <laughs> Well, either way, it looks promising. I remember when I first saw him. Something told me that I couldn't ignore him. And I've been dreaming of him every night ever since we met. You know what they call those pouches I want photo shoots? Let me know in the comments. Vintage models in underwear. Is it just me or do sailors from that time all look gay? What happens on the ship stays, stays on, on the, the ship. ship. I think they're amusing myself. I find them amusing just looking at myself as a, a younger man. It brings back memories. I used to buy muscle magazines myself when I was a kid. I had a girl that lived on my block, and she used to buy muscle magazines. I think I'm in love. Oh, and she used to look through them a lot. So you probably enjoyed magazines like that. Whoa, kinky! Every day, many times, I'd look at these measurements, and I'd take my measurements, like maybe he had a 15-inch neck, and I would measure mine like it was 12, and, and this would drive me on. This gave me the enthusiasm. You've got to have goals and challenges. Did people actually measure muscles like that back then? I don't know, it brings back fond memories. I mean, it was a good a good time, a, a simple time. I don't know, things were so, so easy. much easier then. I don't was know. he a model, a Everything reader? Was simple, you know. Maybe he's Joe. <clears throat> Such sad music. Lucky Leaf. And back then was so more um, masculine and manly in comparison with today's fitness magazines. Physical, Physical fitness. fitness. Everything is photoshopped and Taken with a full turn in today's media.
once admired throughout the world for its freedom of art and expression, America is seemingly now willing to give up its precious freedoms because of the unceasing efforts of selfish pressure groups. Can any intelligent person regard any art expression whatsoever as criminal? Can anyone suffer demonstrable harm from art? Yet the penalties in America for nude art are more severe than bank robbery. That is true, I read about it. I think Bob Meiser was arrested twice for uh, Physique Pictorial, the publication thereof. In Los Angeles, we heard a judge state that he would condone the shooting of a man who would take a nude photograph. In San Francisco and New York, judges stated that they felt any form of nudity represented a public menace and must be dealt with severely. They were very harsh back in the 1940s, 1950s. Very prudish about nudity. Like the zealots of the Inquisition who burned and tortured heretics, like the wicked men in Jerusalem in 30 AD who nailed a man to the cross because of his dangerous teachings. So will some men today see other men persecuted, humiliated, and deprived of years of liberty because of a nebulous interpretation of art. And Robert Henry Miser. I made the record indicate how And it was all part of the McCarthy era, definitely, because McCarthy censored everybody. That's messed up that government can censor freedom of expression. Uh, actors, musicians, writers, everybody was hit by that. So it was all part of the political scene at the time. Who represents Defendant Miser? The people are ready. I vaguely remember something about Athletic Model Guild having to go to court on prostitution charges. That's true. I read about it. Not sure how they could make the charges of prostitution stick. Furnishing young men. I don't know anything about that situation. I don't know what the outcome was. I can't fill you in on, uh, on that history. It's too far back in time. If the court pleases, we'd like to ask for a separation of the witnesses. There's only one witness, Your Honor. Oh, I see. So... Will you withdraw it? Yes. <clears throat> now, what is your age, please? 16. Okay, this actor is the oldest looking 16 year old I've ever seen in my life. Birth date? October 23rd. 1944, is that correct? I remember. Your Honor, may the complaint be amended to read 16 years of age under Overt Act Number 1 at the bottom of the page, please. Bob Miser was not an innovator in any way. He wasn't a spectacular photographer. He didn't do anything particularly new. What was different was what he didn't do. There was, for the first time, no pretense for showing men without their clothes. Bob Miser loved to take pictures of, uh, of men, young men, muscular young men. I very really like taking photos of young muscular men. What are you boys doing up here? <gasps> My wedding dress! I remember reading that Bob Miser got into photography when he was very young. Or she had an interest, actually, in it. Did you ask to use the camera? You little monsters, my dress is all over the floor. I ought to lop your heads off. Where are your clothes? She's only noticing his naked now. I don't know. Romans didn't wear clothes. Robert Henry Miser, are you crazy? Never let me catch you doing this again, and you get dressed. Let's go shopping. I'm going to get you boys a football. I'm telling you, Mother, this is one plan that just can't fail. It's like an agency, but for athletes instead of actors. Well, not athletes, but athletic-looking fellas. And what happens is, the idea is that the photographs of the models are put together in a kind of a catalog, and a circular, and artists, painters, look at the models, and they can hire them from the catalog. And I get a commission, just like an agent. You know, there's a great history of, of the male figure in art, Mother. Michelangelo, Caravaggio, and they all needed models. And with all the young fellas coming to Hollywood to get in the pictures, well... Why does he need his mother's approval to take pictures of naked men? It's a bit strange. 
So what about Fiendeman's photo down on Beverly? That's a paying job. Mother, this is better than that. In no time, I'll be making twice the money. They're going to be naked. Mother, you've seen my photos. It might have been a respectable um, idea, but let's face it, most men use this magazine for self-love. So there's a lot to take in with this film. I'm going to split it over two videos. So join me next week when I watch the rest of this film and give it a rating out of 10. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to click like and subscribe so you can stay up to date as soon as I post new videos. For a similar video to this one, click on this link.